it's believed that when Krishna, Radha and the gopis dance together, it's a dance of the divine. And when they dance together, time stands still. And when they danced, it's believed to have been the most beautiful night ever. Um, we've tried to give a modern interpretation to Ras Leela, holding the sanctity, holding the traditional aesthetics of the piece. Five, six, seven, go. Three, four. Okay, can you repeat this for me? A lot of compositional patterns, uh, movement patterns and dynamics have been retained. But at the same time, the rendition of the visual presentation has changed and evolved to suit today's audience. And let the head work with the arms. It's too strong. Um, Varsha Luka. Go with the steps. After this. This piece has actually been, uh, the creative process has taken uh, seven to eight sessions and with 19 dancers coming together and working every single day for a couple of hours, it's just been pure magic and it's, it's a moment to enjoy and learn and cherish for all of us who are involved in this, uh, in creating the act. So we've thoroughly enjoyed it. And to what was the most challenging part for me as a choreographer here was to make a contemporary connection, make sense to all the youngsters, all the dancers today. Um, help them find a modern connection, keeping a traditional source alive. You know, but while we read about our parampara, we read about our roots, uh, it, it's not in existing in an alien zone. It holds value, it holds, um, it holds a, a live wire and a reason even today. And for us to trace that and for us to identify that and live, relive those moments were the most uh, uh, difficult part. But I hope they've all enjoyed it.